Good evening. I'm the grandmother in Oklahoma that's fighting for my grandchildren. I am today going to talk about the Oklahoma DHS foster care system. And I have a personal involvement with this here issue. Okay, I have five grandsons that's in Oklahoma DHS foster care system. And we have been apart since March 2nd of 2006. All right, these are my grandchildren. Okay, these are my daughter's children. Now, in the state of Oklahoma, according to their Oklahoma DHS handbook, okay, in their foster care, their foster care system, um, it states in their motto that family reunification is the key. Family re-stabilization re, uh, is the key and that they help the families. Okay, well, if that was the case, then my grandchildren would be home by now. It's been over three and a half years. Uh, the Oklahoma DHS system... Um, they totally have rules and regulations, and in my opinion, uh, they are not uh, uh, abiding. They are not doing what they're supposed to be doing. Okay, um, uh, with children in the foster care system, children should remain in contact and have that bond with their family. And it's very important. Now, since I've experienced this here um, situation that is arisen here in the state of Oklahoma, and mind you, I'm from out west. I'm from Reno, Nevada, and I came here. I relocated to be close to my grandchildren and to fight the state to get my grandchildren. To no avail, these people are not happy to see me. They're not happy. They're not trying to work with me. All right. Um, I've never seen nothing like this here before in my life. And I am here to be a voice because this here is very painful, truly emotional, devastating, you know, not just on me, but mainly for and on my adorable grandsons that are in foster care. And they are really hurting my grandchildren. My grandchildren aren't the only one that's in foster care. However, I'm shedding light on this here issue um, that this state, the state of Oklahoma, OKDHS, OK the foster care agency, this state agency, Something needs to be done. This agency is treating kids wrong, treating families wrong. It's tremendous. It's enormous. It's just devastating how this agency is keeping these children away from their loved ones and family. And with me personally, I know firsthand on how the state agency treats people. I know what's going on with my grandchildren, my family, my loved ones. These people are evil. These people don't care. And in my opinion as well, these people that go into these homes and take these children and these caseworkers, some of these individuals have never even given birth. They don't know what it feels like, the feelings and emotions that a parent, that a mother has. This, in my opinion, should not be allowed. This state agency needs to be regulated. It needs to be investigated. It needs to be looked into. 
I am a grandmother and my grandchildren are in pain. They're hurting. I am hurting. You don't know the pain that I'm feeling. The pain of not having your grandchildren under your roof, being able to be there for them, take care of them and provide for them. It's so devastating when you're right here in the same town, state, city, county, and yet the state has control over your children, your loved ones, your family member. That's painful. I am bringing this here to let everyone know, even though it has never happened to you and you think it will never, it will never will, well, guess what? This situation is nationwide. It's spreading like a disease. I'm asking all grandparents, family members, loved ones, Get educated in the foster care system, in your child welfare system. It doesn't matter. Get a handbook and learn. Learn. Be prepared. Prepare yourself before anything happens. Don't never think anything can happen to you. Because look at me, here I am talking to you. I never thought this would ever be me. I would never thought that I would be put in a situation like this or my family, my grandchildren. But as a loving grandmother, as a loving parent and grandmother that I am, I, Farina Thompson, will not give up. I will not back down. I am standing ground. I believe. I believe in the Lord. I believe in my faith and doing every necessary step and action that I need to take. My grandchildren are counting on me. And I'm not going to let my grandchildren down. My grandchildren has been away from me, my family, my household. They have been away for over three and a half years. No one never, never will feel the pain that I'm feeling. These is my babies. These is my grandchildren. How dare these people take my grandchildren away from me and tell me they're not giving them back to me, that they strongly recommend that I obtain legal help? I have done nothing wrong. I am no felon. I am a grandmother that travel the miles and distance to fight to get my grandchildren and to be close to them. My grandchildren are coming home. I am not done. I am not done. My name is Farina Thompson. My contact information is area code 405 789 Four zero six four. My email is confidentwoman1980 at gmail.com. I just want to let the world know this is not just happening here in Oklahoma. It's happening across the United States. And you have an obligation to protect your children. Our children are our future, our loved ones, our offspring. And my grandchildren are my world. They are my everything. We belong together. And I'm going to come